We are focusing on your health. Following the passing of Carrie Fisher, George Michael, and Alan Thicke, three celebrities all under the age of 70, all recently died of sudden heart-related events, leading many people to ask, could this happen to me, and what can I do to avoid it? We're happy to be joined by Dr. John O'Mara, cardiologist with Swedish Heart and Vascular. You know, after a string of high-profile deaths like we've seen, do you get a sense of higher anxiety amongst your patients? Yeah, I think I feel it a little bit, but really, I, I, I think more people... It hits them more when it's someone close to them that it happens to, someone, a family member or a friend. Then, I, then they, that really brings them into the office, I think, even more than the high profile, high, excuse me, high profile. So then they start thinking like about their own heart health. Let's talk yeah. about the difference in some of these terms that we hear. Heart attack, heart failure, and cardiac arrest. Because you're saying there is a difference. What is a heart attack specifically? Right, heart attack happens when one of the arteries that gives the blood, the heart muscle, its blood supply has a blockage and the heart muscle doesn't get blood. Mm -hmm. That's a heart attack. Um, what about heart failure? Heart failure is when you have a weakened heart and fluid backs up to the lungs or to the legs and causes difficulty breathing. A weakened heart can be from multiple heart attacks, but it can also be from other causes. Okay, and what about cardiac arrest? How is that different? Cardiac arrest is when the heart stops beating completely. And that can also be from a heart attack or it could be from another cause such as an abnormal heart rhythm. So you can survive a cardiac arrest, but it's more challenging than the other two. Yes, okay. very much so. So what can people do if they are concerned about their heart yeah. health and if they have a history in their families? That's a great question. First thing would be seeing your primary care doctor and potentially checking your cholesterol panel and uh, checking for diabetes. And there are also other tests that we can go on from there. Um, the other thing would be addressing your, what are called modifiable risk factors, mm -hmm. or things that you can do to change your risk for, for having a heart attack. And that would be con uh, especially controlling high blood pressure, controlling diabetes if you have it, quitting smoking if you're a smoker, and diet and exercise. So Those, Walter asked this while we were all talking yeah. during the break. How much of it is hereditary and how much of it is eating burgers every day? Yeah, I wish I had the a perfect answer to that question, but it's definitely an interplay between the two. And we can change our risk dramatically. So we're, our genetics uh, carry a certain risk, and we can change that. We can really modify that risk by doing all the right things. And the main thing is listen to your body because with these celebrities, all three cases, cardiac emergencies, it sounded like, yeah. came on suddenly. Definitely. Dr. O'Mara was Swedish. Thanks so much all for right. being here. Marnie, right. back to you. Yeah,